Hey guys, how's it going? What's up? We uh we recording in a very not podcast studio area. Interesting. It's reminiscent of Hartwell, actually. It is. And it's gonna get like Hartwell. Oh, it's definitely gonna get like Hartwell. We might have some oatmeal coming in. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All Ooh. I know is that's the only food that's in oatmeal there. Oatmeal and mint. Walker, like, how you that's doing? That's the best thing. Walker, what's going on, man? So, All right, so uh, we're at the Bassmaster Classic uh, at an Airbnb with a bunch of guys from UNC Charlotte and others and others and others. Yes. Yeah. One other. Uh, Jarris. Is Jarris here? No, uh, Jarris is not. Jarris is not here. One <laughs> other. <laughs> One other. Um, Disclaimer. And, I would suggest watching this podcast instead of listening to it. You can listen to it. but I, I think watching, watching get the it full experience. Yeah. Full experience. If yeah. You watch it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we just finished up day one of the Bassmaster Classic. We finished up day one of the Bassmaster Classic about four hours ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyone that wasn't watching or wasn't there? You'll hear this, what, Saturday? The, uh, no, I'm going to try and release this tomorrow. We're going to, tomorrow's Saturday. Saturday, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> You're going to hear this while day two Eventually, is going on. Yes, while day two is going on. Day one was amazing. Uh, yeah. Weather was crap. Yeah, I wouldn't say day one was amazing. It was great. It wasn't amazing. I think we're going to see just, some amazing next two days. Yeah, well, it was uh, a disclaimer. The last two classics, this would have been an amazing day. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. Um, the fishing, I mean, obviously compared to past classics, as far as weights go, Better. great. But, I mean, that's Gunnersville. That's what we come to expect. And I think we're going to see a lot higher weights in the coming days. We'll see. I think no, I 100 percent agree. Yeah, <laughs> definitely gonna see how. All, I mean, all the guys were talking about it. They're all excited. But yeah, no, the weather was really bad. We went to launch this morning, oh. and it was blowing. One more disclaimer: some random folk from that room might come and sit down and talk with us in a minute. Yeah, yeah, it'll just they'll just appear, just, just appear and disappear, and they'll contribute somewhat. Maybe we see Tyler. I see Tyler. <laughs> we see John. <laughs> um. So yeah. We went to launch. We went to launch. It was windy, cold. Yeah. I mean, it was like two footers. Yeah. And building. Yeah. Yeah. And building. And uh, I mean, I was just, everyone was talking about how most of their stuff got blown out that mm -hmm. they found in practice or the eelgrass had matted up and yeah. completely covered their spot. That was something, there was an article on Bassmaster.com that talked about that. And I didn't even know that really could happen could until exist. the summertime. I thought it was a summertime thing, but apparently the eelgrass is so built up there right now, here right now. Well, fun fact, I've seen eelgrass mats before. Right. In like salt ponds on the ocean. You can't get through them. Yeah. Absolutely not. No. Yeah. The t the worst thing in the world. Yeah. It's like trying to go through string. Yeah. David Mullins <laughs> was talking about how he had a bunch of areas on the East Bank and the Northwest wind just, you could I mean, you can't get a bait through it. Yeah. It's crazy. So, um, but you know, it was, uh, it was a good blast off it was yeah there's a decent amount of people there and uh i think that's another thing in the coming days that is going to improve the amount of people, people yeah yeah i was i was a little surprised that there was as few people at this as there yeah we were talking about it and i think the past two classics we weren't there on friday i don't think we were yeah so i, I don't know if friday is typically less people or whatever but um definitely less people than saturday and sunday of the last two years yeah so and uh yeah the expo center is uh it's interesting it's it a maze it's it a maze it's great i mean the the booths are great there's a million different things you can go check out uh it's just not i think there are more booths than normal They're i just think so too spread out into really weird areas yeah it's, it's, a, it's a very weird knows setup. what we're talking about it's, it's just a very an odd weird setup. setup i bet some of you don't even know about half of the expo yeah no hopefully yeah, you there, find out in the next two days so. there's a there's a whole section of the expo if you're in like the main like rooms where everything is there's actually two smaller rooms that are separate from that they have a lot of smaller vendors in them right um that are v almost very hard to find yeah like we actually had problems finding them ourselves mm -hmm. and uh yeah i mean it's it, it it's okay you know? right uh, hopefully they work through and they figure out a way to direct more traffic down there but no definitely um but other than that i thought that the uh I liked where the weigh-in was. Weigh-in was I great. The, weigh -in. Um, the arena was great. They also mentioned during the weigh-in, it was the last 
what, what last event in that venue yeah i didn't even apparently the BJCC. It down. yeah i don't know i guess they're knocking it down or i don't know but they said that the classic was the last event in the venue and we were impressed with the venue yeah so maybe they should reconsider tearing it down <laughs> <laughs> i don't know that they will <laughs> I, I don't think they will i think they've already started on the next one but yeah um but for those of you who don't know after day one and what said this is gonna come out tomorrow this, so yeah this most of you changing. should know this but we'll update you but anyways. right now hank cherry's winning uh with 29 three he's winning by over seven pounds oh yeah i mean he put on a clinic today and apparently he was just playing it safe yeah he i, was did, I didn't hear fishing. the whole thing yeah he's i guess he just didn't want to run in the waves so he's like oh, i'll pull up on this bank and see what happens and yeah well whacked him <laughs> hey, hey, hey sometimes that's when the magic happens yeah in my in my opinion i mean um, and then John Cruz, second place with a 21-8. Yep. And Clint, tied for third. Yeah, or tied, tied for second. Tied I mean. for second with Clint Davis. And Brandon Lester with 2015. And uh, Todd Otten. And Micah Frazier are tied at fifth. <laughs> yeah, are tied with exactly 20, 20 even. pounds. And then it slowly goes down. There's a lot in the 14 to 15 pound range. A um, couple eight, there's what? Five 18 pound bags, couple 19s. I mean, it's it's... It it declines pretty quickly after the first few, but interesting. A lot of guys definitely struggled. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of guys I, talked about the wind and than the I weather. Would be so. Yeah, you dance around back there. Get in here. Yeah, you want to get in here? It's Trevor Topkin, folks. He's here. He's here. You've heard him before. You've not seen him. No, you've never seen him. You gonna sit down? Sit, sit down. Yeah, yeah. Sit down. You gonna sit down? I got ripped right in. We do have to pass this. The, around, the table moves uh, if you lean on it. Yeah, Watch out. this, folks. Yeah, look at this. Crazy. Yikes. We have a terrific podcast studio here. Yeah, it's getting it's done. Absolutely, unbelievably planned out. Yeah, I've never seen such good planning. It's good stuff. So how you doing? How you doing? You haven't even seen the classic yet, or the expo, or anything. What are your expectations? Uh, I think I think Hank Cherry is going to catch twenty nine pounds on day one. Wow! Wow! Just kidding. He already did that. <laughs> yeah, we know. We just went over that. We just talked about that. <laughs> we were just talking about how much he whacked him and how he most likely won't whack him again like that, but maybe. Did you talk about what he's using? Oh, about what he's using? we no. did not. No. Would you like to? Yes. Yeah. And all, anyone out there listening in Carolina and in the Carolinas. You know. You know, and you better listen. You, he, better, you better pull it back out because I feel like it kind of got lost in the history books. Yeah. So he wrote on his yeah he the day before it, he the put tournament it on thing. there was a, there was, was like a, a gallery that was the first part of the media day yeah it was like the first lures that they're gonna throw and everybody wrote down a picture of what they're gonna throw and he wrote a crankbait and a Lake Norman special and that's a if you he know it. you know <laughs> he called it <laughs> and it is a good old lure Jensen speed trap some of you may not have heard of it. Some of you have heard of it from your grandpa, but it's in, a terrific bait in the Catawba region of North Carolina. Highly recommend it. It is not is not your grandpa's crankbait. Would, would we say that? No, no, no. It's very different than anything else you find. It's not your. Everybody throws it. No, even though it's so old, it's not your grandpa's crankbait. No, and. It is one hundred percent. We're getting we're getting peanut gallery. There's peanut gallery from behind the, the mm-hmm. bullshit. It's a speed trap. I I analyzed it closely. Yeah, no, we watched them catch one on live, and it was one hundred percent a speed trap. It's a speed trap. I'm telling. He might. He might. It's not a dang Fritz side. Ain't no it damn ain't way. Fritz side. No. Tyler, if not you got something close, to say, folks. get your ass over I here. Saw him, I saw Hank catch that late day six pounder. It was a speed trap. Oh, I'm jealous of them right now. <laughs> that's, good, that's my some of my favorite live Seth coverage. They're watching fighter catch a mega bag on St. Clair. So I'll see y'all later. <laughs> I don't blame you, and I might leave Andrew myself. <laughs> leave me all alone again. <laughs> um, I had to call people just to fill in. Yeah, including me. <laughs> including you. Speaking of that, are we going to do a recap of that? We will when we when we get back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, classic focus. Fair enough. We got we to gotta channel our inner classic. Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. Channeling our inner classic. So, it's also me falling asleep slightly. Yep. 
while I do this. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, I hope Hank wins because like he had all that we crap got happen. Fi- we got a lot of fishing to do. There's a lot of fishing left, but I really do hope he wins because. The, yeah, he's had one heck of a, a run at it. streak, at the classic. So. Yeah. Um, the main things that seem to be dominating is there's there's guys. I, mean, I don't know everybody. There's guys ripping traps through the grass. There's yep. guys that are throwing crankbaits over the grass. And Hank seemed to be fishing mostly rock, rock and yeah. docks and kind of junk fishing, really. Just picked an area out of the wind and junk fished it, and they I were did, in there. I did see a couple of people that said that he was fishing the same area that Randy Howell was fishing when he won. Yeah, he looked like he's around the Spring Creek area. I don't, yeah, I know it was in there. I don't think it was the Not exact the same bridge. area. Everyone said it was the exact area. Like, I don't think it was the same bridge. I don't think so. No. Um, he caught, I don't think he caught his big one off of the Spring Creek Bridge. No. I don't no. think that he did. Um, he might have, but it, from what I saw in the video, it, it doesn't look like Spring Creek Bridge. But yeah, you know it's it's gonna be a great classic. I mean, it's already been pretty good. Yeah, so for sure, I'm certainly excited for day two, which is happening right now, and then day three. It is happening right now. If you're listening right yeah, now, yeah. If you're listening yeah. right now, then day two is happening. Right what do you now. What do you think? What, what are, give me your predictions and what's gonna happen? I think you're gonna see the weights go up tomorrow. Yeah, I think you're gonna see a lot more bigger bags. Day three cut. Day three cut. What do you mean? What do you think? What is, I think what's the weights gonna, take, gonna be? Yeah. yeah. I mean, right now, if it was to double, it would be 28. 28. I think it'll be over that. I think it'll be 30, 32. I was going to say 32. Yeah, I think, I think it's really going to gonna improve tomorrow. I think it's, there's going to yeah. be a lot of guys that catch them that didn't. And I think, that, yeah, I think there's going to be guys that caught them that aren't going to catch them. I think there's going to be guys that didn't catch them, they're going to catch them. Yeah. The question is, are they going to catch enough to catch up? Right. To that 25 pound anybody, cut line? Anybody can catch up to second place at 21 and a half. Yeah. 29 is going to be tough. You're yeah. Gonna, if, if you, these guys are going to need Hank to fall a little bit if they want to catch yeah, up. Yeah, I think if they're going to, if Hank even follows it up with a half a, as good day, right? I don't think anyone's going to catch him tomorrow. I with, think it's going to be in day three if someone does catch him. With the exception of about the top 13 guys who have all over 17 and a half, any of those guys can catch two 30 pound bags and catch up, which is, I mean, I'm not kidding. Like that could certainly happen. Um, with the exception of those top thirteen guys, I I think you're unless Hank falls, it's kinda It's hard to catch him. It's gonna be for hard. sure hard to catch for him. For sure. Um but yeah, I mean he's got a there's still a lot of fishing left, like you said, so he's gonna put it all together this time. Yeah, and the the weather changing could hurt him and help everybody else or yeah. vice versa. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot more bluebird skies tomorrow. It's gonna be not nearly as much wind, which is good. Yeah. Um, that's great for anyone going to take off tomorrow. Oh yeah. I wish it was like that this morning when we were there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think, I do think though, it's going to be the one thing that, that does like concern me is that a lot of guys I think had spots that got blown out really bad and I don't think they're going to reset. Mm, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. Tomorrow comes around. I don't, I don't, it hasn't really, it's, it's calmed down a little bit. Yeah. Wise. I just don't know if it's going to have time to for the water to clear out that good, but maybe with the eel grass, I don't know. Right. Maybe with all that eel grass, it'll clear. Out I a wouldn't faster. be surprised if um, some guys who like struggled today or just absolutely scraw- cla- words yeah. scratched and clawed their way <laughs> to a you know if somebody like a David Mullins or a Brandon, no, nah, no Brandon Lester didn't, but a Todd Alt, and if they like scratch and clawed their way to their bags. If they just totally abandoned that tomorrow and went practicing again, I wouldn't be surprised if they stumbled on something Something, magical. something real good? Yeah. I think that can definitely happen because I bet there's water that hadn't been looked upon that now that everything is either down the drain or what have you, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody pulled up on something that was mad, like truly magical. It could happen. Yeah. I think day three is going to be wild. Yeah. So... I have a question for you because we were talking about this earlier, so I'd like to explain, expand on it. Uh, you know, in our in our waiting around for weigh-in, um, we were discussing where potential classics could be next. 
And so I'd like to hear from you guys in the comments where you think the classic would be next. Yeah. Um, if you're watching on YouTube. Yeah. Yes, please comment. Um, but we were discussing, we are trying to figure out where the best. Obviously, we're a little partial to Knoxville from last year. Knoxville was absolutely, absolutely. incredible. Absolutely. Um, with everything being as close. And I, we, we felt, we're feeling that a little bit this year because the lake is about an hour and a half from Birmingham. Yes. So from the fan perspective, Knoxville was phenomenal. Yeah. Was, absolutely phenomenal. It was great. Yeah. Fishing, if you go just purely based on fishing, yeah, here is it was great. Light year is better, and I think you're really going to see that in the next two days. Yeah. You're going to see why Gunnersville is Gunnersville. Yeah. Um, but Knoxville, like we're saying, Knoxville is good. From Hartwell the fan good. perspective, yeah, fan perspective, Knoxville, Hartwell are awesome classics. I was at both of them, so I'm partial to that. I really want to go to Louisiana. Yeah, the Louisiana New Delta was what I we talked really about. I really want to go to New Orleans. I don't know what the status of that fishery is. I know they haven't really been back there in a long time, but I would love to see them go back there. Um, yeah, and you know there was yeah you did bring up a good point earlier that I hadn't thought about is they haven't really been to Texas. Yeah, and what I mean if you're going to go to a good Bless fishery, me. thank you me. That's one of them. Where going to Texas? Anywhere in Texas? Yeah, Rayburn. The problem with Rayburn and Toledo is they're kind of far you from. Have if Shreveport's anything. a good hour and a half, yeah. I believe. So you're gonna have the same thing as Gunnersville. Yeah. So I don't know, maybe maybe you work on doing like a flip flop, like one year you have one that maybe it's not as, as on as good of a fishery. Right. But you're more likely to have like more people there because it's yeah more populated and then yeah. the next year you go to one like like a Gunnersville or like a Toledo where you gotta go Right and you gotta drive an hour and a half to a different place. The so. other thing is is the thing that's cool about the classic is it is less than 60 boats. Yeah. So you've really got some flexibility with being able to fish some smaller fisheries. Some smaller bodies of water. Um, we, we we've tossed, been talking we about High something. Rock in there a couple of times. I would love to see it in High Rock. Yeah. They can have all the expo and stuff in Greensboro, which is less than an hour away. Um, it's I, I, I personally think it's in one of the better fisheries in the state of North Carolina. Yeah. Um, and that would be awesome. They haven't been back there since 95. Um, the other thing that we kind of tossed around was Percy Priest, which is in Nashville. Yeah. I could see that being really cool. That could be a really cool location for Yeah. Them. That would be awesome. Um, <laughs> somebody get in on this. No, get in. What? No, what's your idea? Where would the next Bassmaster Classic be? We're talking about potential next locations. We're trying to get answers from the peanut gallery here. Dale, Dale Hollow. Noah Shaver says Dale Hollow. Where is that, Noah? Okay. What would be the host city? What would be the host city? Nashville. Hmm. We want High Rock. Well, no, I want Knoxville again, but High Rock would be cool. Yeah, correct. In 92 as well, I believe. But it's close enough to Greensboro that it's okay. Kershaw. Murray. Murray? No. Murray. No. Why? So you only have to drive Wait, five Murray? minutes down the road? No, because it's exciting. <laughs> It's exciting around the herring spawn like the freaking cup. All right, Trevor's going with Lake Murray. John John Pope is going for High Rock. We know that. Tyler, I'm also going to Tyler, where where would you like the classic to be next? Yeah. I just said Murray. Murray? You're Murray too? All right, we got a couple Murrays. I mean, they could catch some serious bags on Murray this Tyler time. Tyler said Murray too. You know where else they can catch serious bags this time of the year? I said many times. Lake Norman. Lake Norman. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Norman classic, baby. End of February. Char Tyler. Charlotte host. The people want to see you. All right, <laughs> great. Tyler's coming to say hi. Trevor's dangling a spoon in front of the camera. <laughs> hi, Tyler. Hey, yeah. everybody. <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? What's up? 
We haven't seen you since Hartwell. I know. I mean, the people haven't seen you since Hartwell. Since we were eating pie. I remember that. Yeah. That you one. supplied the pie. Yeah, you supplied I the pie. I that pie. It, it's really, that really was a, good. That was a really good pie, too. Apple? Apple. It apple. It was a good it apple was a pie. Good one. It's very good pie. <laughs> Price Chopper. The price, Good pie price. at Price Chopper, folks. Shout out to the Price Chopper. <laughs> Shout out to the Price Chopper Apple Pies. They brought this episode to you. People. That was one of my favorite episodes. That, we that was showed. a great episode. That was a good episode. Great so. episode. How you doing, Tyler? Doing good. But like I said, Murray, next year. Next year. 2021, Murray. I, I w- you heard it here first. I would be okay with that. I would be okay with that. Tyler, what have you been up to? Mm. What have you been doing at the Classic? I worked the expo today. It was a lot of fun. And how's the expo going? Tomorrow? No. He's not going to work. <laughs> I'm going to go buy a lot of stuff that I probably don't need. I did that today. I did that today as well. You got you a chatter. I got me two Yeah, if anyone's at the expo, and once again, this room's kind of hidden. Uh, but what what's the name of that place? Land Big Fish. Land Big Fish. Land Big Fish has jackhammers. For they have like everything crazy. There's probably none of them I left. I bought Whopper but. Ploppers for $3. Yeah. We had some, yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear how much Landon fish got? I got, yeah. I got two jack, yeah. I got two oh, jackhammers yeah. for twelve dollars. We were getting Kitex for a dollar ninety nine. So I think we should probably wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, are you gonna be here tomorrow night? Are we reshooting tomorrow night? I don't know how it's gonna work. We're we're not sure yet what's going on. Um. I might be shooting this podcast we'll, alone. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. I we'll, might be we'll shooting be cool. this podcast we'll alone cool. tomorrow night, which would be very interesting. Yeah, I don't think that would go well. I think it would go great. We're but anyways, yeah, tomorrow, day two is happening right now. Hopefully, they're catching them real they're good. They're going to be catching We're them. super excited they're to catching see them right now. what happens. Yes. Prediction before we get off air. What's it going to take to win? I'm going to do that do on this. tomorrow's podcast. What if I want? What if I want? You know what? You know what? My prediction is you're gonna need sixty three and a half pounds. My prediction would be record setting. That's all I'm gonna say. Wow! I'm still standing by record setting. Wow! I've said it since the beginning of the week. I'm sticking with it. All right, all right. You stick by that. And we're gonna record tomorrow night and the night after that. Not the night after that. Definitely the night after that. Definitely not the night after that. Don't listen to that. But you don't have to worry about that now because it's still day two. There's a lot of fishing to be had. There I, is. You, once you finish listening to this, you should go watch Bass Live. Go watch the weigh-in. Go, go watch the weigh-in. Yep. Or if you're in the area, go to the expo. That's right. And come say hi to us. Yes. Because we're going to be walking around and spending money. Yep. Because that's what you do at the expo. Yep. And uh, that's yeah. That. That's it. Thanks I hope for you watching. all have enjoyed day one of the classic. Hold on. And Anybody uh, in the peanut gallery got anything to say as a goodbye? Like, we're signing off, so. Anyone want to say something? He said that didn't take long. All That's right. it. And I got a peace sign out of Tyler. A peace sign. Wow. Well. Well, all right. We appreciate you guys listening. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Tight lines. We'll see you guys.